Hey, that's good. Okay, okay. Oh, that's you. DJ Roy, everybody. How's it going? How are you doing? Oh, no, 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 no. One, two, three. Okay, yeah, thank you. God, that's just me. Okay, um, I'm, new, I'm not originally from Vancouver. I'm in this place. I was kicked out of Toronto. I was politely asked to leave Toronto. And I came to Vancouver because it's a nice city. Because there's Red Beach. And Red Beach can't exist in Toronto without a couple of, um, you know, police calls. So I came to Vancouver. And unfortunately, when I came to Vancouver, I moved into a neighborhood at Columbia and Pender a block away from Maine and Hastings, because I didn't know that existed. <laughs> they don't put that in the brochure, right? So I moved to Vancouver, I moved to Maine and Hastings, and when I first came to Vancouver, what I had to do to make rent and meet was I was doing construction. And not just normal construction, like I, you know, was working at Cash Corner. For those who are not familiar with Cash Corner, it's a corner at Ontario and Second, where young men like me, yep. Stand there on the corner in our steel toes, fishnet stockings, mini skirts, and tool belts, waiting for contractors to come pick us up. <laughs> We're labor whores, but all the young have the same conversations with prostitutes. We ride up to the car going, What do you want done and for how much? Well, one person picked me up, and I stayed with him for you know a week or two, and he asked me to come in on Saturday. Now I went drinking on Friday. So I had to be at work on Saturday at 7, so I left at 6. Now I'm walking at 6 a.m., hungover, almost late for work, going through downtown east side. And I got my Toronto blinders on. I'm like, fuck off, the whole world die, I don't care. La, 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 la. I'm late. And then some guy runs up to me, and I'm usually like, no, I don't want crap, I don't want a date, and I have no loose change. He's like, no, no, I'm lost. Oh, well, in that case, where do you need to go? Right? I mean, then, finally goes, no, seriously, give me your money. Now, what he doesn't understand is I'm going to work in the morning. Rob me on the way home. I'll have money. I'm broke on the way to work. Right? And I was like, trying to explain this to him. And then he had pulled out a beer bottle. And I'm like, great, he's going to give me a drink. Right? And he's like, give me your money or I'll smash this. I'll stab you. I'm from Toronto. I have enough fucking scars on my body. I'm like, I could use another. So he smashed it. But unfortunately for him, he smashed it right to the neck. <laughs> I look up. I smile. Because he doesn't understand this. He's now waiting late. I'm hungover. And prison right now is looking like a good place. At least there I get cable. So I go, run. And he's like, what? Four. Five, three, and I'll just start rambling off numbers. He's looking at me, and then, because he's got to understand, I'm all over and pissed off, so I just basically take out my hammer from my tool belt. Now he gets the picture. So now he's running down Hasty, I'm chasing this crack head down Hasty. And unfortunately, I got hung over and still took boots on, so I'm not going too fast. But a cop stops me, and he's like, what's going on? And I'm like, he's trying to rob. <laughs> and the cop looks at me going, well, obviously he's not doing that good of a job, is he? I'm like, no, now give me your gun. <laughs> Again, angry Trontonian. And he's looking at me like, yeah, no. So finally, after a little curse words, and uh, I, don't I have rights? What do you do for your paycheck? He laughed at me and said, would you like to go to jail? Took me a moment, I thought, hmm, I get cable in jail. Okay, no, so I went to work. I was late for work, because I missed my bus, and some crackhead tried to rob me. Do you understand how my day's going? So, I went late for work, I get the shittiest job, I had to dig a ditch all day. Not a happy camper. So, finally at the end of the day, I get paid. I'm heading back home. I'm covered head to toe in dirt. I'm tired, I'm cranky, and I'm somewhat still fucking hungover. So on my way home, um, let's call her a lady. <laughs> a person approaches me. Um, if this was a zombie flick, she'd be sexy, I think. And she asks me, she goes, 20 bucks, I'll take you around the world. I'm not into that, Amelia. I explained to her going, sorry, sweetie, 
You don't have enough meat on you to take me around the block. After a couple of curse words on her part and a smile on mine, I continue walking home. I get home to a place that would make ex-cons claustrophobic, little tiny room, and I finally get showered, strip off the clothes, shower, relax, I'm sitting there watching TV, and then BAM! I knocked off my bed, flying across the room, my mirror shatters. I look, I get off the, off the floor, I look around, there's a hole in my wall. I'm like, what the fuck? It turns out that my neighbor decided he's going to make a meth lab in his single room occupancy. Obviously, when you put crackheads in science, that shit don't mix. It blew up. So I had to spend the rest of my Saturday night talking to a pretty cop, which oddly enough, I didn't mind. Because I kind of like girls who have their own handcuffs. <laughs> and that, boys and girls, is just another day in downtown Eastside. You guys know what I'm going to do?